Yo, so I'm playing Minecraft. I'm cheating. I build my base in creative. Nothing too big. I already killed the end dragon on my friend's server like, for the first time in like forever. I've never killed the end dragon before. So, like, you know what? I'm gonna try to do something new. I'm gonna just chill my world because his server's broken. I'm gonna keep finding his server, but it's broken. I don't know what's going on anymore. We can go um in survival because these weapons are crazy. Like. Yeah, these weapons are fucking nuts, but <laughs> that's not my goal for today. The goal of this video today is like, but this this is hypocrisy. I'm just spending my like my little bit of time after the day, coping for myself. Oh, I'm just relaxing. Well, I'm not relaxing. I'm just fucking fucking about playing Minecraft. I should be doing a little bit of work for my bed. I should just be in bed. And I'm quite tired. I'm gonna look at look at the world in survival for a bit. Game mode zero. It is quite stacked, can't I? It's a stacked world. I, I should show you guys a bit more. Cause I went raiding in the Nether, and in the um, I just I didn't even bother like spawning stuff stuff in apart from the cobblestone and the, 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 the zombie pig thing and this thing. I went raiding in the Nether and I just gathered an insane amount of loot. Who is this guy? Why is he so pushy? Who are you? Who are you? Hey, what should your face on this place a little again? I know, yeah, I got um, a little hot moving contraption. Still stuff inside my shulkers. I literally can't get it out. Um, I got this OP boat and again, I just put like the same choke a few times now. I'm gonna duplicate my loot, I can't lie to you. But, um, yeah, the loot is insane juice. It's just, it's ridiculous at this point. That's not ridiculous, not ridiculous to say. I don't even know what to what anymore. And, um, also, like, all the hoppers are full. Good stuff. Oh, look. Good stuff. These are just for the fireballs. Sure, fireball is. Oh yes, get out of here, man. What is this settings? What is this shit? It's this fireball. It's turned into a netherite fireball. Nether brick fireball. You have to get a soul, a sense of that soul fireball, and you use a fireball upgrade to turn into a netherite soul fireball. Netherite soul one. I'm assuming that's the soul fire. Yeah, because you see the base is different. Um, I kind of just want to build my castle, that's it. It's, it's crazy loot. I want to build this village up. You can tell it's cheating by um, the look of over here, the spawners. Oh, oh, this is modern Minecraft as well, by the way. Yeah. I don't know why it runs so smooth. The recording to be smooth so far. I want to check it back later, but yeah, anyways, let's just ignore my dumb procrastination. And look at the shovel, by the way, the shovel is insane. One of my stuff in here so you guys can see. Why, why did I build like this? Should like this? Yeah. Get out of my house. Get out of my house, merchant. I receive. You receive. Just seems like a scam. I got some lanterns though. Support. I'll support his business. Gotta support my boy's business. You know. How many emeralds? Why so many little emeralds, man? I'm broke. I'm broken than you, Red Merchant. Red Merchant! Where did this man go? Why are there so many unemployed? I need to provide my jobs, can't lie. It's just annoying looking at the unemployed. I'll figure in. I'll, get, I'll get some lanterns. You didn't give me a level, dumbass. I mean, one level. Ugh, poor. Anyways. <laughs> didn't mean to go down this route. Didn't mean to. I haven't played Minecraft in so long. It's kind of nostalgic going back. Get out of the way, get out of the way. 
Soil. Let me show you. This this hammer acts like an axe. Oh, that is satisfying. Let me play it, bro. Guys, want only one thing. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> uh, what do I do in my life? Me, I'm playing a Lego game. I played this game for the last like fucking ten years of my life. Um, I'm playing on a private server as well, so just, just me. I don't want any public server, I don't want any half pixel, like a public modded server. I, I don't doubt the fact that if I build something, it will be destroyed in like a fucking one working day. Because of the way how Minecraft's toxic Minecraft servers are. What if Jeffrey is the destroy stuff? Jeffrey. I know I shouldn't be playing it. Maybe I'm using a bit of discipline to play as well. It's, it's, oh, it's easy. It's easy. It's the easiest way to like, use discipline because it's very easy to garner more to play video games. I find that a bit of therapeutic, even though know, like, it, it isn't really that therapeutic. It's more so I'm numbing myself. The fact that my life kind of sucks. I'm not in the place where I want to be. Talking about that, more importantly, I get it often. People tell me, like, so little ugly hair. But do that. Get the current going. No. This is gonna part it like the Red Sea. Gonna part it like the sea. Like Moses. <laughs> so dumb. But yeah, I get often people tell me um regularly, oh yeah, I think you'll be successful Jimmy later in the future, but um I mean the truth, like a lot of my actions so far in this very, very moment have not correlated with the fact that I will be successful. More so, it correlates with the fact that I'll be a bum forever. Um, I'm kind of drifting aimlessly at times. At times. There's times when I'm extremely hardworking. There's times when I'm drifting aimlessly. I mean the truth. And it's kind of annoying, like, um, within any small moment of like self reflection I get, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to really be a video gamer. I don't know why I'm playing this game. I've played this game for the last 10 years of my life. Nothing's changed about the game. And okay, a, new, a bit of new stuff is added. It's still fundamentally the same game. I remember, a friend told me to egg me back on into Apex Legends. That the game's changed so much. I came back and it was literally the same shit. Like, you drop down, you loot, you shoot people, and you get 21 4K badge. It's pretty much it. like it's the same shit again and again and again and again and again. However, life is different. Life has many different uh, possibilities you can discover. You know, unlike these video games, I've constantly, endlessly revisited throughout my life. I'm getting really tired now. I don't know what's happening. I'm just exhausted. I actually don't know what's happening. I just, I'm just out of it. Success. Uh, I had a dream about success, which is kind of funny. You guys, you guys might laugh at me. But, um, I wouldn't mind, I deserve it. Um, I had a dream where I was going to the airport to go on a private jet. And I was rich in this dream. And I was going with my two childhood friends, which were girls, and I would like I would talk to them often and we, the topic would come up often. They would be like, Why would you choose us? We don't deserve it, etc. etc. I'm like, Oh yeah, because you guys are my wife. <laughs> was, and like the look on their face, it felt so vivid and real and you know, um, Worryingly real, and the dream has been on my mind for a moment because it's exactly what I wanted. Exactly, it's like, by to the T, like it's what I wanted. Like I wanted success, I wanted the girls, I wanted marriage, I wanted kids, I wanted family, a stable life, everything in this dream personified that. This dream was a like an illusion, like a dream. It was like um a, a, a prophetistic dream. I was a bit older, I'm sure, but not too much older. Just like same, same, a bit same, same. And um, perhaps what it, could have, it is what I could have been if I worked harder, but the opportunity is missed. There's more opportunity in the way, I must take that instead. Yeah, anyways, I, I was on the bus, went on the bus with them, I went on to the train with them, and uh, you know, when I was on the train, it would go to the overground, which I could then contact my mum. And um, yeah, she was like, oh yeah, enjoy it, oh, yeah, yeah, um, you made a lot of money now, I'm proud of you, 
center, etc. I don't know how this is coming coming out of nowhere. Now you're spending fifteen thousand pounds on a fucking private jet flight to God knows where. I don't know. I don't remember the destination. I can make it up right now, but I literally don't remember the destination. I've said just Vietnam, China, or Korea. Not China. No, I don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah, Vietnam, Korea, South Korea, of course, guys. Come on, uh, racism in North Korea. Racism. You go to North Korea. We belong. I had this dream and it was, oh man, it was crazy. Yeah, and um, let me continue. Oh, wow, it's, still, it's just a weird, it was a weird dream. But um, yeah, we, we got, the bus ride was standard. I went to a cross section, a very familiar cross section that I've dreamed about many, many times. And then I went to go right turn. And then after that, took, got off, going on the train station. I don't remember going inside the train station. No, I do remember going down the stairs, but I don't remember paying. I remember beeping the thing, but then like, my mind is now trying to reconstruct that memory. The more I talk about it, the more it gets reconstructed. Um, anyway, yeah, bing, 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 down the train station, tap my card, going inside, waited for the train. I went on underground, London underground, then I went on, on, on overground. It looked like a bit more modern, I have to say. So uh, this has to be a bit in the future. And then after that, I went to the airport. And then I was waiting around in the normal people lobby for like to get escorted to the private jet area. Still with the two girls that were gonna be my wives. And they're cute, but like I, I don't know why they appeared in my dream. It was just so random. You know, the purpose is the truth. Anyway, yeah, I got escorted to the private jet center area. Oh my god, private jet area. And then like for some reason I'm just talking to my mom about it and I have vivid memory of, of my ability to check through my bank accounts. I can just check through all of them. I can check through this, I can check through that, I can check through this, I can just go through all the bank accounts. I have like minimum five bank accounts, all at like 85 grand max, and maxed out. And I also have like stock accounts, I have this share accounts, so like 125k in one stock account. Um, to, to put everything together, I have like 500 immediate liquid cash on me, 500k, 750k estimated in total assets or maybe even more than a million assets and just a small fraction of this experience this private jet experience and like yeah it, it was weird because i was talking to my mom about it and like wow where did this come from what, what did you do like what's going on because i haven't really broken the news to her yet but um she arrives at the airport surprisingly surprisingly and, um, it was very quick. And, um, I still remember the reaction on her face. It was like just a pure, blissful smile, saying to me, "I'm proud of you, son. You made it." She was a bit younger as well, so I know it's a dream. And perhaps she can look younger because I don't like health, fitness, and diet, etc. She has, if I have enough money, she can have time to like, invest into that type of thing. Sorry, my neighbors. Yeah, it's just it's it's a uh, it's um it's extraordinary. It's out there. <laughs> it's what I wanted. And I, in the moment, I, I questioned it like, is this really what I want? But yeah, it's what I fucking want, bro. I want success. I need success. Like all the girls that I was focused on the entire time I talked to, talk to, it just drowned out. And my mom was there in my dream. Like, I'm proud of you. And then we were in the private jet, of course. It's like, whoa. Yeah, the dream cuts. It's just quite me off though. Right, I just try to go by the seat desperately to just feel it one more time, you know, but <sighs> yeah. A family relative of mine told me, like my great uncle told me, I really see a successful like put a shoulder on my arm like this. With a good smile. I really see a successful future because the way I speak, the way I orate myself, the way I position myself, the way I present myself to the world, it's very, very easy to suggest that hey yeah, I'll be successful in the future. Um there's nothing to do there.
it's weird like isn't it weird it's weird You can have both, of course, but I'm, I'm just gonna need to go with my family with. But I never thought it was just beckoning my head, most definitely, most definitely. And like, I couldn't have to think myself like, yeah, this is this is what I want. This is the life that I want. This is a path time. This is appealing. I have to work hard towards something to get to this point. So it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in, most definitely. Catch you guys video. How will you guys react when I just like I don't know where three years down the channel cut channel cut still going? I'm not posting any reaction videos anymore. Like a dumbass, getting my channel struck, struck, struck and down. I'm just posting vlog videos, original content exclusively. <sighs> How would you guys feel? To see me from like room, chat shit to actual genuine success. How would you guys feel? A bit out of place, envious, jealous, a bit of hatred, yeah, most definitely. Shock, inspiration, awe, most. Definitely. That's dumb. That's dumb. I think I had it in my grasp. I don't know if you guys realize this. I had it in my grasp, like I had it, like I had the money, I had the power, I had the people, I had the physique, I had the shape, I had the personality. And of course, I always have the personality, but I had the, like, the people, it's a big part of personality. Your personality is not shine with other people, right? How's it, how can your personality shine purely by yourself? I should put a camera like this. It's different. <sighs> it's, it's a weird situation, like, I, I, I was accomplished. It was good. <laughs> I'm thinking about my smiling one. Oh, it's just can't be to hug me with a smile. It's enough to make a grown man cry, bro. <laughs> I'll catch you guys. Peace. With me over that video, bro.